One of perhaps the strangest additions to the cast in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is the character of Balloon Boy, who isn't even an animatronic antagonist, but instead a small plastic toy, and is treated like a running joke throughout the film, where he appears three separate times. He appears in Mike's office, where Mike is just slightly disturbed by it, facing it away from him. It appears in the janitor's closet, also disturbing Mike a second time, causing him to turn the figure away from him. And it appears during the post credit scene where Corey Kenshin is attempting to take a nap after a long night of driving people around in his taxi. Unfortunately, he does not get much rest because Balloon Boy decides it wants to have a ride, scaring the shit out of Corey Kenshin. Also, how is this thing mobile? How is it moving around the pizzeria of its own will? I mean, we know the animatronics obviously can move because they're robots, they have moving parts, and obviously they're possessed. But Balloon Boy doesn't appear to be an animatronic, at least in the movie universe. He's just a small plastic toy with no visible articulation. Yet he appears in two different locations in the pizzeria. He also leaves the pizzeria, opens the door of a car, comes into the car, then shuts the door in order to scare some random dude in a taxi cab. And beyond this just being a funny joke, I find it quite interesting that the folks at Blumhouse made it a point to make this joke three separate times, and they make the joke a third time right as the movie ends, which to me is setting up the toy animatronics for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It's the only logical thing, not to mention there are references to the puppet in the movie itself. We see a chalkboard earlier in the film, and on that chalkboard we see Bunny, Fox, Bear, Chick, and weirdly enough, Puppet. If you don't know who the puppet is, the puppet is also another enemy that appears in Five Nights at Freddy's 2 alongside the toy animatronics. So with all that being said, it seems like with the subtle reference to the puppet, with its name being mentioned, and even the continuous running gag of the Balloon Boy doll, the animatronics from the second FNAF game are probably going to appear in the second FNAF movie. And even though Balloon Boy is most definitely a means to set up the toy animatronics in the sequel, we still don't really know why Balloon Boy is alive. We see a bunch of other toys and memorabilia scattered throughout the abandoned pizzeria, and none of them are alive, but for some reason, this particular Balloon Boy figure is special. It's alive, and it moves without any known reason. I mean, the easy way to really explain this thing is that this doll in particular is haunted and the spirit that haunts this doll is using the plastic balloon boy figure to just fuck with people. And if you want to go even deeper, you could even say that this is the previous night guard before Mike and that that machine that he died to, that machine that he was hooked up to, is some sort of agony or remnant extractor, basically removing his spirit from his body in the most painful way possible, and he went inside the Balloon Boy toy 
and now he just messes with people by appearing in places he really shouldn't be and just looking creepy. But anyway, I'm probably looking far too deep into this, digging through the pizza, looking at every topping, every ingredient. It's a way to set up the sequel. Most definitely. It's a way to set up the toy animatronics. And it probably doesn't mean a whole lot. It's just a funny joke and a way to set up the sequel. This guy gives me Lucky Boy vibes. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy in himself is a reference to the Balloon Boy-esque character from Fazbear Frights. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the potential of the toy animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's The Movie 2. And what is your explanation to Balloon Boy apparently being alive or possessed for some reason? With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care. And I'll see you in the next video.